breaking the chains of generational poverty. That is one of the goals of Believe Inc., a nonprofit here in the Metro. So here with me today to learn more about the organization and an upcoming event is President and CEO Steve Davis. Steve, good to see you again. Good to see you as well. So let's talk about this. I know it's been a while since you've been on the show. So mm -hmm. give uh, our viewers a recap of what Believe Inc. is all about and the goals here. So some 20 plus years ago, we made the decision that we wanted to help young people across Oklahoma City um, learn how to move into the larger society while clinging to what is real to them, helping develop those social emotional skills that will help them thrive um, in life in general. So what we did over the past three years was start focusing on young women. When we start looking at the stats, and what social media has been doing to young women. When we start looking at the research that showed the number of young women with suicide attempts, we knew that we had to now focus on young girls and we started the Waking of Women Leadership Program that we do in public schools across the city, building and empowering young women. It's so important. You're yes. so right. Social media has really just changed <sighs> the game, changed the outlook here. Um, so you have a big summit coming up. Yep. Tell us all about that. So there's a lady here in the state of Oklahoma, and she's known globally, and that's Dr. Belinda Bisco. She's the associate vice president at OU over the continuing education department. She has been uh, creating curriculum for state departments of ed around this country for years. This summit is named for her. It is the Dr. Belinda Bisco Waking of Women Resiliency Summit, because one of the things that we know that we need as people is resiliency tools. And so what we're gonna focus on, on uh, April the 11th at OU, on the campus of OU, is giving young women those resiliency skills necessary to thrive. Wow, you are just, uh, you, you're so inspiring. Every, <laughs> every time you open your mouth, you're saying something inspiring. So this is really gonna be impactful, I think. Who is it geared towards? Who, who do you Great want question. to come out to the sem the Great. summit? Great question. So we are focused on seventh to 12th grade girls, those who identify as female. We're focused on that group across Oklahoma City. So we've got young women coming from all school districts, um, all backgrounds. This day is about how we begin to help these young women learn how to work as units, as, as, as sisterhood, and giving them those resiliency skills and affirmation skills they need to move each other forward. And how can people sign up, get a ticket? What do they need to do? So we are reaching out to independent school districts because that's how we have to kind of keep our numbers. So we're going to be serving about 150 uh, young people from across um, Oklahoma City. Now, those parents who may want their daughters to attend can go to Believe inc.biz and there's a link on there they can click on and it'll take you there we can only take 25 outside okay. outside of a school suite so you have to really get on that pretty pretty fast okay so that's a really good tip anyone who's listening right now a, a parent who thinks that their their young child would or i should say 12, 7th to 12th grade yep. though young adults yep. getting into that age group if you think that they could benefit from this summit Head on over to one more time. Say, say the website for us. Steve. Believe Inc. B I Z. Okay. Biz. Believe Inc. Biz. 25 spots open 25 outside spots. of these school districts. So if you're hearing this right now, log right on April the 11th on OU's campus Resiliency Summit for, for our young women here. Uh, Steve, thank you so much for coming on today. Oh, thank you. Always great to see you. This is really important stuff, so we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay.